Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Back to the Cardboard. This is Shannon here, and this is my video response to Alex over at Bowman 53. He's running a really sweet contest right now. It's, it's pretty cool. He's got a really neat giveaway too, so I'll put a link to that down below. You guys need to step on over there and check him out. But he wanted you to share a baseball card or a piece of memorabilia or something to that effect that reminded you of another YouTuber. And, I, and instantly, there were several that popped into my into my mind, uh, a bunch, really too many to make a video about, but I'll give some shout outs to some guys anyway when I show some cards here. But, um, and he said it's more about the connection really than it is the card. So without further ado, let's step inside, because it's pretty boisterous today. I don't know, is that a word? Uh, pretty windy out here, so we'll step inside and take a look at some baseball cards and my connection to the YouTubers that are behind them. Let's get to it. So I had several guys, like I said, that just popped in my mind um, just to think about a card and, and it instantly bring up a player. Um, and along my YouTube journey over a little over a year now, I've I make connections with several YouTubers, uh, and then when I see a certain card or a certain piece of memorabilia or a team or a logo or something just pops up, I automatically automatically think of them. And some of those guys, you know, Jason Zombie Collector, Tony Black, uh, Eric over at the Card Closet, Picker GMS, all these guys just bring back uh, – thoughts of different players and teams and, and stuff like that cards uh, Gary Bink Scott uh, Eric Four Leaf Cards and um, the great Scott over at Reindeer Studios these guys when I see see the videos or I see a, a certain card or something I really really think of those those certain YouTubers but this set right here that I'm fixing to show you automatically popped in my head and um, this is his um, his collection basically, and this is let's see if I can get some better lighting on that. There we go, a little better. This is Brian over at Vintage or Tops Vintage 316, um, down to earth guy, uh, very genuine, um, very giving as most members in this community are. He befriended me early on in my YouTube career and um, he sent me some cards and we made a connection. Uh, Brian lives down in Florida and is a really great YouTuber. But why I'm showing these is he's putting together a 71 set and he's making some great headway. And it's just exciting to see him and watch him put that thing together. Got some really bad lighting here for whatever reason, but uh, when I see this 71 set, I automatically think of him. He's, uh, he is like laser focused on this thing. And uh, I admire that most about him. And that's uh, Brian over at Topps Vintage 316. And when I see this 71 set, I think of Brian. I really do. And I, I'd say most of you probably do too, those that know him. All right, this next set of cards here. Um, I connected with these guys, um, like myself, they were huge Cincinnati Reds fans and, uh, over the last, well, this summer basically, uh, connected with these two guys, JY sports card guy and Christopher Hasten. And like myself, like I said, both of these guys are, uh, big Cincinnati Reds fans. And I tell you what, I had a blast this summer with these two guys. Uh, we, um, uh, Got in a group chat together and watched basically some games together in the playoff games. And we chit-chatted back and forth and shared cards with each other and juicy inside tidbits on the, the Cincinnati Reds. And I uh, just had a big old time chatting it up, uh, especially during these playoffs. It was, well, ultimately a disappointment. But um, anytime I see a Reds card, uh, I automatically think about my two uh, – my two Cincinnati Red buddies, uh, JY Sports Card Guy Jeremiah and Christopher Hasten. I'll put their links down below, but uh, be sure to check them out if you're a Cincinnati Reds fan like myself because they have some uh, amazing collections. You know, Christopher is, um, 
he's a big Joey Votto PCer. Got an amazing collection of him and Jeremiah over at JY Sports Cards guy. He uh, has some vintage working on uh, autographs and stuff like that. The Reds is pretty pretty amazing. So be sure to check them out. Uh, anytime I see a Reds card, I automatically think of those two guys. That's uh, JY Sports Card guy and Christopher Hasten. Okay, and the last guy I want to talk about, I found his channel when he had about 200 subs or so and just has an amazing vintage collection, uh, second to none, no doubt. And that's none other than John Mangini of the Mangini Collection. Uh, of course, now he's big time, uh, getting up there in subs, getting ready to pass a 1,000, but very well deserved uh great guy and what i admire most about john is his i don't know i guess brian puts it best on uh, tops vintage 316 collect like you're a kid and john really exhibits that youthful uh enthusiasm um and and i really admire that about him after all these years of collecting, you can tell that it's his true passion, and he really enjoys collecting baseball cards. And not just baseball cards, pretty much everything under the sun. And my measly showing, whoa, my measly showing couldn't really do it, do his collection justice. But anytime I see an old card, uh, I definitely think of John Mangini, the Mangini collection. Um, he just blows me away i tease him a lot it's just his museum uh collection of baseball cards just is it's just amazing bar none and i will i will put his link down below be sure to check him out as well as jy sports card guy christopher hasten and brian at tops vintage 316 and um you you can't go by go wrong by subbing to these guys uh, great guys, great collection, and hey, Alex, Bowman53, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share my connection with some great YouTubers. Thank you very much. Until next time, guys. Peace. Yeah.